In this video, I'll show you how to replace Astro propellers. The first thing to know is that the propellers should be replaced as an assembly, the whole thing together. The reason for that is that these blades are a matched pair. They're balanced. So if you replace just one, then your Astro will vibrate because the weights will be slightly different. So replace them together as a pair. The second thing to know is that the propellers on Astro rotate in two different directions, and so the propellers are mere images of each other. It's important that you replace a propeller with one that rotates in the same direction. If you put on one that rotates in a different direction, Astro will crash. Let me emphasize that again. If you put the wrong propeller on, the wrong arm, Astro will crash. So a couple times through this procedure, we'll check to make sure we have the rotation direction correct. Let me show you the parts that are needed besides your Astro. You'll need two clockwise propellers. You'll need two counterclockwise propellers. You'll need the eight new screws that came with the propellers, a place to put the old screws, Loctite 243, and a two and a half millimeter hex driver. The first thing to do is to open up the arms. Open them up fully and lock them in place. Next, find the GPS antenna. That's the front of Astro. Spin the aircraft around so the GPS antenna faces away from you. And now remove the prop detectors. Now we're going to match up the new propellers with the old propellers. The thing to notice is that on these propellers, right on the top, is some lettering that indicates the direction of rotation. This one says counterclockwise, and this one says clockwise. On your new propellers, <clears throat> you'll see similar lettering. This one is a clockwise propeller. So we'll put it over here with this clockwise motor. We'll kind of lay out our new propellers so that they're close by to the ones they'll be replacing. Takes up less space if you fold them up. This is another clockwise propeller. We know this is clockwise, and the motors that are paired diagonally spin in the same direction. But we'll just verify by looking at the lettering. Yep, that's a clockwise propeller. And these other two are counterclockwise. Don't take it for granted. Do verify each one. The person that worked on the aircraft before you, maybe it hasn't flown in a while, maybe they've been put on incorrectly. So make sure to look. Counterclockwise, 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 counterclockwise. I'm laying out the propellers like this so that they are under the motors they are going to replace and they're to the left of the corresponding leg. When I pull off the, next, the, the old propeller, I'm going to put it on the right hand side of the leg. That'll help me keep the new and the old propeller straight. And in the same way with my fasteners, I have my new fasteners on the left, and I'll put my old fasteners on the right. Just keeps everything straight. If you've already pulled off your propellers, uh, then you won't be able to compare new props to the old props. So I'll put an overlay on the screen right now showing you which direction each one should spin. And then you'll be able to compare the letters on your new props to the letters that are on the screen right now. As we do this process, we're going to work one propeller at a time. I'm going to start with this one because it's closest to me. We're going to remove the four screws in the center, not the two screws holding the propeller blades that they pivot about. As you pull off each screw, put it in the bin on the right-hand side. With all the screws out, take the old propeller and put it to the right-hand side of that leg. Now we'll put on the new prop. Each bolt will get one drop of Loctite 243. Now that each of the screws is started, let's tighten them up. The torque for these is 1.5 newton meters. 
you don't have a torque wrench, don't worry. We've sized this wrench so that if you turn firmly on the small knurled section, you'll get about a newton and a half, a newton meter and a half of torque. And that's it, you've installed a new prop. Now we're gonna repeat the same procedure for all the rest of the props. We're gonna to check to make sure we got the rotation direction correct. We're gonna remove the old prop and set aside the screws. We're gonna reinstall the new prop with Loctite 243 on each fastener. And we're gonna to torque the fasteners to one and a half Newton meters. So that's all four props. Last thing, let's do one more check to make sure all the directions are correct. So just grab the prop that's nearest each leg and make sure it matches the prop that you've installed. And if it does, then you can set them aside. Same for the screws. And the tools. That's it. You ready to fly?